Hello, my name is Kip Stewart. I'm here to present my project, which I call The Protectionist. So, what it is, it's a 3D game with about five levels. You make progress by cracking a toad, which opens the door. This code is a word that the player has to figure out for themselves. So, the, for the technical stuff, we're using Unreal Engine 4. Personally, it's my favorite game engine because it's easy to use with its blueprint system. But at the same time, this blueprint system is not limiting, so you can pretty much create whatever you want. As long as you know what you're doing. There were some other choices like Godot and Scratch, but those were like not realistic enough for me. I tried with Godot, didn't get the effect I wanted. And there was also Unreal Engine 5, which was way too hardware demanding for my computer with its GTX 1060. So the theme that we're using here, we're using some sci-fi horror with the first three levels representing a dream that the guy has. But there, the last two, however, is Area 51 in the distant future. The exact year that I decided was 2232. So let's go ahead and check out the game. So we have the files over here. Not much, but maybe it is quite a bit, though. But, but the thing that we need to look at is over here. So let's go ahead and click on this. And we'll go ahead and head to the menu. We have a set of instructions that we that the we can use to know what how to play this game. So let's go ahead and I hit play. And as you can see, we're on level one. And look at that! There's a keypad that we need. It looks like it's a four-letter word that we need to guess. I'm gonna try something. I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not. Oh, look at that! All right, let's look around. Ooh, look at that, a secret entrance. Let's go through it. And as you can see, we have a definition of words. You can figure out what this word is in the definition. Alright, so I'm going to go back. I think I know what it is. Wish me luck. Hey, look at that. I guess what? Alright, on to level two. Looks like we need a five letter word. I don't know what it is. I think I'm just going to look for a clue. And use space to jump up here and look around. Oh, look at that, a clue. This looks very obvious, I think this is actually easier than level one. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and look in the chair. And that it was right. Oh look, and then as you can see, everything's red and we have this message looking again. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And things look a little different. I don't remember this wall being here, do you? I'm gonna look around. Nothing's changed over here except it's all red. But something's definitely changed over here. I don't remember seeing that. Uh, I'm gonna go back down. Oh, well, look at that. The wall's gone. Is this wall gone? Nope. Nope. It's not gone. Alright. And it looks like there's this glowing light coming from the secret entrance. And it looks like we have some words. Wake up, stay alive. So I'm gonna go ahead, go through over here, see if there's anything changed over here. Oh, the wall's gone. Alright, now we have the final level, which instead of all the three, just the word wake. And we need a four letter word. But isn't wake a four letter word? Let's try it. Oh, look at that. It's really scary, isn't it? And we have the title. So as you can see, we are now in area 51, and even though there's no beds, pretend that we woke up from hypersleep. A uh, really creepy flickering light over there. Let's go explore a little bit. Look at that, another door. And I think, if I remember correctly, this is a three-letter word. I don't remember what the word is, so we're just going to look around. Looks a little dark over there, so I'm going to use my handy dating flashlight. And look at that, there's a room with what I'm going to call computers, because this is how I think computers are going to look like in the future. So we're going to go ahead and click this. And it looks like that's our clue. I think I know what the word is. I'm going to walk over here back to the door. And we're going to type in our word. And I think I guess we're right, because the door is open. 
So we're gonna walk over here. Maybe I'll go over here to the side and see if there's any cool clues on here. And it looks like there's not any. There is a stark hallway, which I don't think there's anything right there. Man, it's pretty dark over here. And we got more computers. Oh no, one needs to be activated. So let's go ahead. I don't think this is a clue. Just something about the lore that I created. So, I think we still need a clue. So I'm gonna walk around some more. I wonder what's up there. Oh, look, another keypad. Alright, so now we need an eight letter word. I wonder what that word is. I'm gonna look for some more clues. I wonder what's up over here. I haven't been here yet. Now, look at that a computer. A lonesome computer that needs to be activated. The one that prayed fears. I wonder what that means. I think I'm gonna figure this one out as soon as I get to the keypad. So, if I look at the keypads, I can see the letters that I need, so I'm going to try to plug it in and see if it's right. Hey, look at that, it was right. And we have a very small room, and a computer that needs us to end the level. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And look at that, we have a time of 160, and it looks like... We broke the record, because the record time is 160. Now let's go back to the menu. And that's pretty much it for my project. Correctionist, thanks for watching.